Wheel guns have been a popular choice among gun enthusiasts for over a century. These handguns are a favorite of law enforcement and military personnel, as well as hunters and sport shooters. However, despite their many advantages, revolvers also have some notable disadvantages that should be considered before making a purchase. The biggest disadvantage of revolvers is their limited capacity. Most revolvers only hold 5 or 6 rounds compared to modern semi-automatic pistols that can hold 15 to 18 rounds of 9mm. Revolvers also tend to be larger and heavier than semi-automatic pistols which make them more difficult to carry concealed. For these reasons, the huge majority of people who need a handgun for concealed carry and home defense would always choose a Glock 43X, a Sig P365, or a Springfield Hellcat over any revolver. But, revolvers offer a lot of advantages that semi-auto pistols just don't. Simplicity, reliability, ruggedness, power, and perhaps the best of all, versatility, by virtue of the fact that they are chambered in rimmed cartridges. Rimmed cartridges tend to have a longer case than rimless cartridges, which makes them highly versatile. Case in point, the 357 Magnum can be hand-loaded to much lower 38 special energy levels or to super hot 41 Magnum energy levels. Here are the top 10 most versatile revolver cartridges. Number 10. 22 Long Rifle The 22 Long Rifle, also known as the 22 lr is a rimfire cartridge that was introduced in the United States in 1887 by American firearms manufacturer J. Stevens Arms and Tool Company. It quickly became popular among small game hunters and target shooters. In the years following its introduction, the 22 lr was adopted by a number of firearm manufacturers and was used in a wide variety of firearms, including bolt-action rifles, semi-automatic rifles, and revolvers. With its small size and low recoil, the 22 lr became popular among beginners, and its accuracy and affordability made it a favorite among competitive target shooters. During the early 20th century, the 22 lr became widely used in Olympic target shooting competitions, and it remains a popular choice for competitive shooters to this day. In addition, the cartridge is still widely used for small game hunting, plinking, and general recreational shooting. Today, the 22 lr remains one of the most popular cartridges in the world, with millions of rounds being produced and sold each year. Its long history and versatility have made it a favorite among shooters of all ages and skill levels. Number 9, 22 Magnum. More commonly referred to as the 22 Magnum, the 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire is a rimfire cartridge that was introduced in 1959 by Winchester. It was designed as a more powerful alternative to the 22 LR for small game hunting and varmint control. The 22 Magnum is based on a longer case than the 22 LR, which allows for a larger powder charge and a heavier bullet. This gives the cartridge higher velocity and energy, making it more effective at longer ranges. In addition to its use for hunting and varmint control, the 22 Magnum is also used for self-defense with some handguns and rifles being specifically designed for this purpose. Over the years, a number of specialty loads have been developed for the 22 Magnum, including hollow point and jacketed hollow point bullets for improved terminal performance and even shot shell loads for use against small game and pests at close range. These days, the 22 Magnum remains a popular cartridge among hunters, shooters, and outdoor enthusiasts. While it may not be as widely used as the 22 lr it is still a versatile and effective round that is well suited for a variety of applications. Number 8. 38 Special The 38 Special is a centerfire cartridge that was developed in the United States in the late 19th century. It was first introduced in 1898 as an improved version of the weaker 38 Long Colt. The 38 Special was initially developed for use by law enforcement agencies and quickly became popular among police officers and civilians. The cartridge's moderate recoil and accuracy made it well suited for use in handguns and its effectiveness against human targets made it a popular choice for self-defense. During the early 20th century, the 38 Special was also used in a variety of wheel guns. It remained popular with both law enforcement agencies and civilian shooters throughout the 20th century and was used extensively in World War II by American troops. Over the years, a number of different loads have been developed for the 38 Special, including plus P loads that offer increased velocity and energy for improved terminal performance. The cartridge is still widely used today by law enforcement agencies and civilian shooters for self-defense and target shooting. In addition, the 38 Special served as the parent cartridge for another popular revolver cartridge on this list, the 357 Magnum. Currently, the 38 Special is still a popular choice for self-defense. Number 7. 327 Federal Magnum 
The 327 Federal Magnum is a center fire cartridge that was introduced in 2008 by Sturm Rigger and Company and Federal Premium Ammunition. It was designed to provide a high level of performance in a compact and lightweight handgun while also offering reduced recoil and improved accuracy. Based on a longer and stronger version of the 32 h and Magnum case, the 327 Federal Magnum uses a bullet with a diameter of .312 inches and offers velocities and energy levels that are higher than those of the 38 Special but lower than those of the 357 Magnum. The 327 Federal Magnum was initially designed for use in small and lightweight revolvers and was marketed as a high-performance alternative to the 38 Special and 357 Magnum. It quickly gained a following among shooters who wanted a compact and powerful handgun for self-defense and concealed carry. Despite its relatively short history, the 327 Federal Magnum has already established itself as a versatile and effective cartridge for a variety of applications, including self-defense, hunting, and target shooting. It remains a popular choice among revolver enthusiasts and even some rifle shooters, particularly those who value compactness and portability in their firearms. Number 6. 44 Special The 44 Special is a centerfire cartridge that was developed in the United States in the early 20th century. It was introduced by Smith & Wesson in 1907 as a black powder cartridge, but was later adapted for use with smokeless powder. The 44 Special was initially designed for use in revolvers and quickly became popular among law enforcement personnel and civilian shooters. The cartridge's large size and heavy bullet made it well suited for use against large game and in self-defense situations. Over the years, a number of different loads have been developed for the 44 Special including plus P loads that offer increased velocity and energy for improved terminal performance. In addition, Elmer Keith used the 44 Special as the parent cartridge for the 44 Magnum, developed by increasing the length and thickness of the 44 Special case. Today, the 44 Special remains a popular cartridge among hunters, shooters, and collectors. While it may not be as widely used as some of the more popular revolver cartridges on this list, its long history and reputation for accuracy have made it a favorite among enthusiasts who value its unique characteristics. Number 5. 357 Magnum The 357 Magnum is a centerfire cartridge that was introduced in the United States in 1935 by Smith & Wesson. It was developed as a more powerful alternative to the 38 Special and quickly gained a following among law enforcement agencies and civilian shooters. The 357 Magnum is based on a longer and stronger version of the 38 Special case. The cartridge fires a bullet with a diameter of 357 inches and offers velocities and energy levels that are much higher than those of the 38 Special. During the 20th century, the 357 Magnum was widely adopted by law enforcement agencies who valued its power and accuracy in handgun engagements. It became widely popular among civilian shooters, particularly those who enjoyed hunting and target shooting. Over the years, a number of different loads have been developed for the 357 Magnum, including ones from Buffalo Bore that offer increased velocity and energy for improved terminal performance. The 357 Magnum has, is, and will always be one of the most popular revolver cartridges among hunters, shooters, and self-defense enthusiasts. While it may not be as powerful as some of the newer Magnum cartridges, it will always be a favorite. Number 4. 41 Magnum The 41 Magnum is a centerfire cartridge that was developed in the United States in the mid-1960s by Remington Arms. It was designed to provide a balance of power and accuracy for handgun hunters and shooters and was marketed as a versatile cartridge that could be used for both hunting and self-defense. Elmer Keith, Bill Jordan, and Skeeter Skelton joined forces in 1963 to request that Smith & Wesson, Remington, and Norma develop a pistol and ammunition in 41 caliber. The goal was to create a cartridge with ballistic performance that fell between the 357 Magnum and 44 Magnum while also addressing the ballistic limitations of those cartridges. Despite its initial popularity, the 41 Magnum never achieved widespread acceptance among shooters and hunters. However, it gained a cult following. There are small but dedicated groups of enthusiasts who appreciate the 41 Magnum for its balance of power and accuracy. Sadly, even with its unique characteristics and history, the 41 Magnum may soon go the way of the dodo, but the point about its versatility stands. Number 3. 45 Colt The 45 Colt also known as the 45 Long Colt, is a centerfire cartridge that was introduced in the United States in 1873 by Colt's Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company. 
It was designed for use in the Colt Single Action Army Revolver, also known as the Peacemaker, which was one of the most popular handguns of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. During the 20th century, the 45 Colt was used in a variety of other firearms, including lever-action rifles and semi-automatic pistols. It remained popular among hunters and shooters throughout the century. Through the years, a number of different loads have been developed for the 45 Colt, including plus P loads that offer increased velocity and energy for improved terminal performance. In addition, the 45 Colt has been used as the parent cartridge for a variety of other cartridges, including the 454 Casul and much later on the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Today, the 45 Colt remains a popular cartridge among hunters, shooters, and collectors. Despite weak factory loads on the market, it remains popular among some revolver owners as the cartridge can be loaded to 44 Magnum levels, and revolvers like the Ruger Black Hawk have no problems handling its increased pressure. Number 2. 44 Magnum The 44 Magnum is a centerfire cartridge that was introduced in the United States in 1955 by Smith & Wesson. It was designed to provide a more powerful alternative to the 357 Magnum and was marketed as a versatile cartridge that could be used for both hunting and self-defense. The 44 Magnum is based on a longer and stronger version of the 44 Special Case and fires a bullet with a diameter of .429 inches. It offers velocities and energy levels that are significantly higher than those of the 357 Magnum or the 41 Magnum. The 44 Magnum quickly gained popularity among hunters and shooters who appreciated its power and accuracy in handgun and rifle engagements. It was also used by law enforcement agencies, particularly in rural areas where a more powerful cartridge might be necessary for stopping large animals or vehicles. Over the years, a number of different loads have been developed for the 44 Magnum, including those by Underwood or Buffalo Bore, that offer increased velocity and energy for improved terminal performance. Many different revolver and lever gun models are built to chamber this powerful round, which makes it one of the most versatile revolver cartridges among hunters, shooters, and collectors. Number 1. 454 Casul the 454 Casul is a center fire cartridge that was developed in the United States in the late 1950s by Dick Casul, Jack Ulmer, and Dwayne Marsh. It was designed to provide a more powerful alternative to the 44 Magnum and was marketed as a versatile cartridge that could be used for both hunting and self defense against big dangerous game. The 454 Casul is based on a longer and stronger version of the 45 Colt case and fires a bullet with a diameter of 0.452 inches. It offers velocities and energy levels that are significantly higher than those of the 44 Magnum, making it one of the most powerful handgun cartridges in the world. The 454 Casul gained popularity among hunters and shooters who appreciated its power and accuracy in handgun engagements, as well as its ability to take down large game at relatively long ranges. It was also used by law enforcement agencies, especially in bear country where big bore revolver cartridges are needed to defend against the biggest and deadliest predators prowling about. Over the years, thousands of revolvers and lever-action rifles have been built to chamber this powerful round. In addition, the 454 Casul has been used as the parent cartridge for the 460 Smith & Wesson. Today, the 454 Casul remains a popular cartridge among hunters, shooters, and collectors. Its long history and reputation for superior stopping power have made it a favorite among revolver enthusiasts who love big bore revolvers and don't mind its heavy recoil. That's all I have for you in this video. If you happen to own any firearm chambered in any of the revolver cartridges on this list, tell us how you like it by commenting down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.